Alex Hui. I am from Singapore. I have been playing guitar for about three years, three years or so. Um, I love music, love listening to music. I love cats, I love, of course, guitar. I chose to pick up the guitar because I watched a video from Slash, uh, a concert. It's a Godfather theme made in Stoke 2011. And, uh, that was pretty much the tipping point for me. Uh, not so much because of his technical ability, but because of his power and how I felt something when I, when I heard him play. After feeling that something, you know, I begged my, begged my dad for, uh, for an Epiphone Les Paul special too. And he brought me down to this very shop to get that guitar. <laughs> yeah. My, my dad used to do music uh, until he got into an accident. He used to play drums, but he stopped that. But um, my mom, not, not so much. Both of them, though, they were uh, exposing me to various sorts of music since uh, a really, really young age. Um, actually, Sweet Child of Mine it was dedicated to me by my dad because uh, when I was born, right, my dad made, made this CD for me. And uh, the first song that was on the CD was Sweet Child of Mine. So it kind of holds a really special place in my heart. I wasn't raised with nursery rhymes, I was raised with Metallica and Guns N' Roses. <laughs> yeah. Before I played guitar, my parents had to force me through piano lessons and violin lessons. Got up to grade six for both of them and my music theory, ABRSM. And uh, I really didn't like it. It was classical, so you had to do everything, you know, by the book. Everything was really rigid, you know, it's very un-rock and roll, from, coming from someone, someone that loves rock and roll, right? I don't know what made me think picking up a real guitar was that great of an idea initially because I knew I wouldn't take it very seriously. But uh, after playing you know, guitar here in rock band for so long, I was like, you know what, maybe I'll give it a shot. So we got something really similar. It's Rocksmith, Rocksmith 2014. Not sure if you guys heard of that. It's, a, it's like Guitar Hero, but on a real guitar. I noticed myself improving a lot, and I noticed myself voluntarily picking the guitar up to play four or five hours a day. And my parents saw that too. So they grew very supportive of that. My practice routine is playing my favorite songs. <laughs> uh, I have never really sat down with the metronome until a week before the competition. I have never really sat down with the metronome and went. That just bores me. It reminds me of why I hated piano and violin so much. It just kind of, it's a drag really. I've been doing a lot of legato workouts which are... Just doing that and uh, seeing how fast I can go on the metronome with that, it's uh, just slowly increasing th that speed and, you know, it sounds nice. I think that sounds nice. I was a finalist for uh, Young Guitarist of the Year 2018 and what prompted me to join was, well, I, I saw Rob Chapman upload a video on, uh, on him being a judge for Young Guitarist of the Year. So I thought that was cool. I sent it to my guitar teacher and he said, yeah, give it a shot. So um, I didn't think much of it. I, th I threw a camera in front, of, in front of me and I just started playing whatever came to mind. I pretty much improvised all of it. <laughs> uh, and uh, just, I'm pretty sure it was in like less than five takes and it's good enough, whatever, I'll post it online and you know, see where I get. And lo and behold, a few days later, it's like, you've been shortlisted. I'm like, oh, this is going somewhere, I see. And uh, a few weeks later, I get, I get this uh, email telling me that I'm a top, top three from the list. And I'm like, wait a second, hold on, <laughs> hold on. And note, um, it's this year, so um, I'm sec for this year. I'm taking my O-levels. I'm not picking up guitar four hours, five hours a day anymore because I have to study. I have homework to do. So I'm playing less and I'm 
slowly, slowly getting worse and sloppier on guitar. And all of a sudden, you're a finalist. You got to come to London for 29th September and be at the finals, which is right after prelims. <laughs> so uh, I'm like, OK, <laughs> OK, we'll see where this goes. And uh, I went there and I wasn't expecting to win. I Hunter and Abby are phenomenal, phenomenal guitar players. I'm still in touch with them. We'll be uh, after we're done with our personal stuff. We'll, uh, I'm pretty sure we'll be working on a project together, maybe like a four or five song EP. One slash, because as mentioned before, uh, his video of his his Godfather theme made in Stoke was a. Uh, was the reason why I pretty much was like, you know what, I'm just gonna do it. My second one would probably be Paul Gilbert. Paul Gilbert. He uh, he was kind of my gateway drug into the whole shred thing. I think Paul Gilbert had the technicality and the power of Slash. Third one would probably be BB King. <laughs> Unfortunately, not not with us at the moment <laughs> anymore. Not not with us anymore. Yeah. Because I love the blues.